بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of God as a noun and verb The most merciful God The bestower of mercy When the hypocrites come unto thee They say we bear witness That thou art indeed the apostle of God And God knoweth that thou art indeed his apostle, but God beareth witness that the hypocrites are certainly liars. Now that sounds a little bit worse. They're certainly deniers. Well, they're lying about their testimony. They don't really believe that, but there's connotations when people say that it's, it kind of throws people off. Um, but it does say Muhammad al-Rasulullah in Quran. So those who would say, well, don't testify that this part, Shahada, doesn't include Muhammad al-Rasulullah, it just includes la ilaha illallah. These people are avoiding even saying some words that are in Quran. They have taken their oaths for protection, and they turn aside from the way of God. It is surely evil which they do. Now, Ashadu in la ilaha illallah, wa ashadu na Muhammad rasulullah. That is, it's an oath. An oath to uphold the pure monotheism. An oath to consider that which has been revealed to Muhammad and that which is inspired of him, if you really believe these are the words of Muhammad, that he's saying uh, that you take them authoritatively. Now, that's not authoritatively his favorite food or whatever. It's authoritatively when he spoke on a spiritual matter that this was the truth. This is the way we were supposed to live our lives. This is how we want to deem that. This is because they believed and afterwards became unbelievers, wherefore a seal is set on their hearts, and they shall not understand. When thou beholdest them, their persons please thee, and if they speak, thou hearest their discourse. They resemble pieces of timber set up against a wall, and they imagine every shout to be against them, and they are enemies. Wherefore, beware of them. God cursed them, and how they are turned aside from the truth. And when it is said unto them, Come, that the apostle of God may ask pardon for you, they turn away their heads, and thou seest them retire big with disdain. And one of the signs of hypocrisy is the fear of everybody. Because you're not fully on the side of the believers, and you're not fully on the side of the disbelievers, and you're not, you know, you're not fully on any one path, so any one group can have issues with you. Imagine your shot to be. Their enemies, wherefore, beware of them. God curse them, and how they are turned aside. And when it is said unto them, Come. To that the apostle of God may ask pardon for you. They turn away their heads, and thou seest them retire with disdain. It shall be equal unto them whether you ask pardon for them or do not ask pardon for them. God will by no means forgive them, for God directeth not the prevaricating people. And that's the thing also with the disbelievers is that, you know, why are we praying for people who have died, but if you know that somebody is doing wrong, you don't ask with God or anybody else on the behalf of those doing wrong as far as they're doing wrong. They turn away the other six. The same that shall be these are they who say do not bestow anything on the refugees who are with the apostle of God that they may separate from him and you see this is the problem nowadays that people are so against these refugees and these immigrants part of that's because the people leading the people saying no no, these are good people. 
and they'll make better use of resources than they will. These or they just don't want them to be in a good position. I personally would want everybody to be in a good position. I mean, except those that need punished. But worth as unto God belong the stores of heaven and earth. But the hypocrites do not understand. They say, verily, if we return to Medina, the worthier shall expel thence the meaner. For as superior worth unto God and his apostle and the true believers, but the hypocrites know it not. O true believers, net, let not your riches or your children divert you from the remembrance of God. For whosoever doth this, they will surely be losers, and give alms out of that which we have bestowed on you. Before death come unto one of you, and he say, O Lord, wilt thou not grant me respite for a short term that I may give alms, and become one of the righteous? For God will by no means grant further respite to a soul when its determined time is come, and God is fully apprised of that which ye do.